I'm Joe Jansen, agricultural economist at the University of Illinois. This is a five-minute Farm Doc Daily discussing recent commodity price dynamics and the market signals described by the price distribution tool available on the Farm Doc website. We show the range of expected corn and soybean price outcomes has narrowed more quickly in 2024 than in recent years, especially for corn. While some analysts have suggested the market might be assuming too much too soon about the size and value of the 2024 crop, the market is nonetheless signaling lower and less volatile corn and soybean prices. Corn and soybean futures prices for new crop fall 2024 delivery have been relatively stable since the beginning of the calendar year. The observed trading range, roughly 450 to 490 for corn and 1140 to 1220 for soybeans, is meaningfully smaller than the trading range seen in recent years. Price levels too are generally lower. There is continued talk that farmers have resisted selling at these lower prices. Old crop inventories held on farm are, st are still large, even as new crop supplies are just months from being harvested. Anecdotal evidence suggests new crop forward sales are similarly limited. Whether waiting to sell is profitable depends on the probability of observing higher price levels in the future. So how likely are higher prices? Well, the price distribution tool available at farmdoc.illinois.edu uses options prices to provide an implicit estimate of the probability of different forthcoming price outcomes. It's a way to see the market's expectations about forthcoming price variability. As uncertainty about commodity supply and demand is resolved over time, the range of that set of possible price outcomes narrows until we reach harvest and the price is realized. In a recent article for FarmDoc Daily, we evaluate the market's current implied price distribution for new crop fall 2024 corn and soybean futures prices. We consider how it's changed since February when farmers finalized their planting decisions and revenue guarantees for crop insurance based on those futures prices were established. We show the range of expected price outcomes has narrowed more quickly between February and June in 2024 than in recent years, especially for corn. The market is signaling greater confidence in the likelihood of prices near current levels in the fall. The price distribution tool plots a familiar bell-shaped probability distribution. Possible price outcomes are given on the x-axis, and the relative probabilities of those outcomes, implied by options prices, are given on the y-axis. Prices near the center of the distribution are viewed by the options market as more likely, and prices away from the center of that curve are less likely. The distributions are centered around current futures price levels, so those are sort of the most likely outcomes. We can see for both corn and soybeans, this price distribution has become substantially more peaked, and the range of outcomes with meaningful probability has narrowed. This narrowing tends to happen every year as supply and demand uncertainty about the size of the new crop and the state of commodity demand are resolved over time. However, our article suggests that the market's expectations are narrowing more quickly this year than in the recent past. Compared to 2022 and 2023, the market is much more confident about the range of potential outcomes. To see this, our article calculates the interquartile range, cut the spread in the middle 50% of the most likely price outcomes based on current options values. The current range is about 95 cents per bushel. Interquartile ranges for price expectations in the last couple of years were larger, which makes sense because the range is often proportional to price levels. However, the change over time between February and June, the decrease in the range this year is much bigger than in 2022 or 2023. This range has narrowed by 23% this year compared to just 4 and 2% in the last two years. While the 2024 growing season has already featured some of the usual market anxiety about crop conditions that might spark a rally in new crop futures prices, especially with recent rains and flooding in parts of the Western Corn Belt, the overall market situation is still substantially more bearish than in the last few years. Our analysis shows the dynamics of options implied new crop price distributions for corn and soybeans in 2024 suggests the potential for a jump in new crop futures prices is dwindling perhaps more quickly than usual. The market continues to signal lower and less volatile corn and soybean prices, shrugging off supportive news. Lower price levels and a narrower range of expected price outcomes implies 2024 may be a more challenging year for farmers from a marketing perspective. With this 5-Minute Farm Doc Daily, I'm University of Illinois agricultural economist Joe Jansen.